What's good, homies? We about to be litty, no cap. You found the Madden plug. Now hit that like, hit that subscribe, and turn that naughty bell on. I'm about to put you on. Coin making methods, no money spent tips, budget beats on the 500 bands, 300 bands, 100 bands. Whatever you need, I got you. I got that daily Madden work. Now let's get it. You heard? Dom the Mongo, Mongo. Say, hey, yo. I said, hey, yo. No shmoney spank gang. We in a building and you know that. What is shaking, y'all? You already know what time it is, man. Holla at me. If you're new to the channel, man, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and turn that naughty bell to fuck on. We is all the way to fuck, let you dig you. Already know. With that being said, man, if it's your first time on this channel, man, check it out. I'm about to show you a graph, a graph just like this. And I do this type of graph for every single promo that comes out. And what I'm doing on this graph is I'm looking for budget beasts. And I take those budget beasts and I compare them to the best card in that position. If not the most expensive card in that position, I'm here to help you say some chicken, you dig? I said, hey, yo. Team Team All Stars. I said, hey, yo, this joint is a banger, you dig? Now, I ended up doing uh, the offense yesterday. I dropped that video. Today, I'm going to be doing all defense, man. And just so you guys know, man, just, yo, this, this joint is heat, man. All right, now, these cars are roughly going to run you somewhere around three to 400 bands if you fully upgrade them joints, all right? Now, I'm going to wait for the market to sell, settle a little bit before I start upgrading these. But you guys should have tons of binder trash to go ahead and uh, um, quick sell those for training. So you can get some of these cards, man. Because I don't know if y'all remember last year with Theme Team Remix. Once these joints, like the promo was gone, it was hard to get these and the prices went up on these. So it might be good to try to take a look around to see which ones you guys want to invest in. You dig? All right. Enough talking, man. Let's get straight into it. We got some cards to go over. You dig? Now, we're going to start off with cornerback. Yo, I ain't going to lie to you. I'll frux with this promo, bro. These high now. Uh, let me see. Who's for, who's up first, man? Let me see who's shaking. All right. Oh, yeah. The ball, Kyle Pitts. 97 overall. How Pitts. You already know. Now, we're going to compare Kyle Pitts to some of these, uh, to these theme team all-stars, okay? If I say Theme Team Remix, my bad. That's what I was used to from last year, okay? Now, these are going to be the 92s fully upgraded to the 99s. All the cards in this video is going to be fully upgraded stats. You smell me? I bet. Kyle Pitts, where you at, bro, Zay? What, there you go right there. All right, so here we go. So we got the Kyle Pitts 97 overall, 180 bands. Now, we're going to compare him, okay, to the ball. I should have left it on Theme Team, right? Let's go Theme Team. We're gonna compare him to uh what the fuck is the thing? Alright. 94 overall. Okay. Joe Alt. 40 bands. 44 bands for the ball. Not bad. You smell me? There you go right there. Now, uh the corners that we are gonna talk about. Now one I didn't put in. Okay. It's gonna be an honorable mention. Just didn't make the cut. You feel me? I felt like the, the two shortest corners. Uh, at this position One of them was better than the other one The other one didn't make it uh, The one that didn't make it was Tredavious White Now it was either between Tredavious White And Kenny Moore Kenny Moore has a uh, secure tackler So that's why he made the chart Tredavious White didn't You feel me? Plus uh, Kenny Moore had a better spec catch He had an 84 spec catch versus Kenny's 76 you feel me? Y'all know I'm big on spec catch Anyways so, we're going to throw in there my man J.C. Horn, always glitchy. Y'all know what time it is with him, okay? Razul Douglas, you already know what time it is with him. Legend, classic, Madden classic, you already know, okay? 
And then we got so we got JC Horn, Rajul Douglas, Joe Alt, Cal Pitts, and we are gonna be throwing in there Kenny Moore. Alright? 13 veins for the balls, you already know. Now, from left to right, we got the ball. Cal Pitts in blue. He is 6'6. Six, six. Joe Alt in red. He is 6'8. Okay, JC Horn in green. He is 6'1. Razul Douglas in purple. He is 6'2. And then we got Kenny Moore in the baby blue. He is 5'9. Okay. Now, yes, Tredavious White is 5'11. Taller than the ball, but he doesn't he did we want abilities at this point in the game. Secure tackle is really what we want, so that's why I went with him. Alright. Now, when it comes to speed, Pitt 98. Alt 97, JC Horn OP 99, Razul and Moore both 98. Acceleration, Pitts 97, Alt 92, mid. JC Horn 99, Douglas 98, Moore 97, jumping. Pitts 98, Alt 99, JC Horn 98, Douglas and Moore both 99. When it comes to man coverage, Pitts and Alt both 90, mid. Okay, Horn and Douglas both 99, Moore 95. When it comes to zone coverage, Pitts 97, Alt 94. Horn and Douglas both 97, Moore 99. When it comes to press, Pitts 93, Alt 90, Horn 96, Douglas 92, and the ball Kenny Moore with a super mid 88. Okay, now off the jump, okay, this Kyle Pitts car, listen. Deep out zone KO for 0 AP, flat zone KO 1 AP, mid zone KO for 0 AP, baked in pick artists, two discounted ability buckets so you can mix and match. Is you digging what I'm saying? I bet. Now, truthfully, I like the card. 98 speed, 6'6". Come on, man. You can't even go wrong with that Joe right there. Fire. Fire little 97 Joe, man. If you get this Joe on your team, man, shout outs to you, bro. You already know. 98 jump. Now, the 90, man, uh... Just run zone. 97 zone, 93 press. You ain't going to press them anyways. You know what I mean? So, shout out to that one. Now, the Joe All card. This is the one that caught my attention. Why? Because the ball 6'8". You feel me? The ball 6'8". The problem that I had, I think, was the change of direction on him was, was tight mid. I think he had like an 87 change of direction. Let me go just check that real quick because... It not for those of you guys that don't know earlier in the season when we had the 87 change of directions, it was more for like middle linebackers and all of that. So it's not like impossible to, you know, what I mean, get it shaking with the ball. But I just want you guys to know that that's the type of time he's on if you get that, John. You know, what I mean, he gonna have, yeah, it's an 87 change of direction. So that's, you know, what I mean, if y'all cool with that, bet I think 6'6 six, six is dope. You know, what I mean, at the end of the day, 97 speed. 6-6 six, six deep zone KO for 0 AP, bro. These baked in pick artists, you can't even be mad at that. Me, truthfully, like, I'm the type of dude, I'll put him over there in safety. You feel me? Get it shaking. Mid zone KO for 0 AP, 2 discounted ability buckets. Another one that's definitely worth a tryout on the squid at all. You know what I mean? For 40 bins, you cop them, throw them in, see what's shaking. You already know what time it is, man. Now, let's get to these 92s. Okay, J.C. Horn, Douglas, and Moore. Obviously, Moore's out the picture for me. I'm not digging the 5'9", secure tackler and all. I can go get Chris Harris for that, Joe. You smell me? You know what I mean? Because you're going to end up dropping like 300 bands on the ball. You can go get Chris Harris. Uh, Talib, you know, uh, Akib Talib. You know what I'm saying? Like, sorry, Moore. You, you all right, though. You all right, though. I fucks with you, buddy. Now, J.C. Horn, Razul Douglas. Obviously, we're going to go J.C. Horn because he's a 99 speed, 99 excel, 98 jump, 99 man coverage, 97 zone, 96 press. To me, that's going to be the, the better one. Now, Razul Douglas is a bit taller, one inch taller, pause, 6'2". They both come with the same discounted ability buckets, which is deep in zone KO for 0 AP, flat zone KO 0 AP, lurker 0 AP, uh... Medium route KO for 0 AP, mid zone KO 0 AP, pick artist 0 AP, short route KO 0 AP, and then the other ability bucket, you got um, same situation, deep in, deep out, uh, deep route KO, flat zone KO, I mean like, the, the, this joint is hot, okay, one step ahead, outside, shade, you know what I mean, inside, shade, you get, you get everything, okay, you get everything with these two joints, it, I wouldn't even be mad at you, if you get both of them, you know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, you, you get both of them, you're going to turn the fuck up. 
And what's dope about them is that all of these theme team all stars come with uh pre lit X Factors, bro. So you could put universal coverage on these joints and go dumb. Okay, so JC Horn, Razul Douglas, fire. Now, hopefully, we can find a better way to get these theme team tokens, man, just for a better price, man. Like, come on, ain't nobody trying to. I'm not trying to drop three, four hundred bands. Like, I'm cool with three hundred, but anything more than that is like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, chill, bro. These, anyways, let's go to free safety. Okay, now free safety. Uh, who we got? Who we got at free safety? But like I said, man, them corners, all four of them corners is fire. Pitts, Alt, I like Horn and Razul Douglas, OP. You already know. Uh, and it's gonna be the same thing with Joe Alt and uh, Kyle, Kyle Pitts. You could put universal coverage on them joints, all right? So, uh, free safety, we ended up getting the ball Brock Bowers. 94 overall, another budget beast band, though, you dig. 45 bands, okay? Now, he was the only free safety that was released, so we have to compare him to the best safety in the game, right? And who's that gonna be? That's gonna be me and Joe Green going for the hot milli. You already know. We ain't even gotta talk about that. I'm gonna show you the call anyways, just because I like to, you know what I mean? I like to pop shit. But <clears throat> here we go. Where's it at? If, if EA can ever fix this, this menu, bro. Come on. Here we go. Golden ticket, mean Joe Green, 2.8 milli. Hey, yo, let's see if Brock Bowers can hold it down for the squiddy to go. You know what I mean? I bet. So, we got Mean Joe Green in blue, the ball 6'4. And then we got Brock Bowers in red. He is 6'4. When it comes to speed, Green, 99. Bowers, 98. Acceleration, Green, 99. Bowers, 96. When it comes to jumping, Green and Bowers, both 99. When it comes to man coverage, Green, 96. Bowers, 82. When it comes to zone coverage, Green, 99, Bowers, 97. Play rec. Green, 95, Bowers, 86. Okay, so, I mean, obviously, I frust with this Brown Bowers. Enforcer Supreme, 0 AP. Mid zone KO, 1 AP. Pick artist, 0 AP. Built in deep in zone KO. That's baked in. Okay, now, obviously, when you look at the stats and you look at the man coverage, 82. Not a super super mid. Not we not fucking with it. But what we do like is the speed. We like the jump. We like the 97 zone. Play wreck is 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 I is I. You know what I mean? But like I said, at the end of the day, these these for 98 speed for 40 bands, you could get universal coverage on the ball. You know what I'm saying? Like you you really got to look at it like that's that's a come up. You know what I'm saying? Like that like that that's a huge come up for the ball. You know what I'm saying? Let, you got the 98 speed, he's 6'4", and you throw in the universal coverage, yo, the ball litty. The ball litty, you know what I'm saying? So, shout out to EA for dropping that card. I think it's fire. Let's go over to strong safety, you know what I'm saying? All right, bet. Uh, who, who we got at strong safety? Oh, we got the ball Carmichael, right? Yo, that card is wild. Yo, we got Carmichael. Yo, my man be lit. All right, yo, so we got the ball. All right, hold on, hold on. Let me go to theme team real quick. Um... Harold Carmichael, you already know, you already know what time it is, man. 1.8 milli, okay, 6.8, you already know, man. And then we're going to compare him to Donovan Wilson, who is the strong safety. Um, remember, you have to upgrade this all the way to fully 99. Donovan Wilson, 13 bands, you already know what time it is, okay. Now, uh, let's take a look at the graph. So, in blue, we got Harold Carmichael, 6'8". Donovan Wilson in red, he is six foot. When it comes to speed, Carmichael, 99. Wilson, 97. Acceleration, Carmichael, 98. Wilson, 99. Jumping, Carmichael, 99. Wilson, 98. Man coverage, Carmichael, 94. Wilson, 93. Zone coverage, Carmichael, 99. Wilson, 98. When it comes to play rec, they both 99, okay? Now, obviously, Carmichael got the 99 spec catch. Wilson has a 75. Uh, yo, this Carmichael Jonas is lit. Deep zone KO for 0 AP. Flat zone KO, 1 AP. Mid zone KO, 0 AP. Secure tackler, 0 AP. Baked in pick artist. Shout out to the ball, Carmichael. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Shout out to the ball, Carmichael. Anyways, Donovan Wilson, man, six foot, deep in zone KO. Like, he gets everything plus secure tackler. 
do I like the car? It's, it's, it's solid. You know what I mean? Like, I, I ain't, it's nothing like, oh, yo, I got to go get the jaw. You know what I mean? What I, what I don't like is the 75 spec catch. That's what I don't like. What I do like, I like the abilities. I wish they would have gave him deep zone KO. I think at this late in the game, man, you should be you should be, should be airing that ability out to more than the people that have it right now. Uh, you can get universal coverage on the joint, so it's solid. You know what I'm saying? It's like I said, it's not like yo, I gotta go get that Donovan Wilson. Nah, you know what I mean? It's, I think it's fire. What makes it fire is the abilities. Without the abilities, I'd be like, yo, bro, pass. You know what I'm saying? Because like you're looking at it, and he, well, he got out. Fully maxed out, 97 speed. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's cool. It's solid. Abilities is what's going to make it, though, truthfully. So, without the abilities, eh, pass. But, anyways, let's talk about the next one. Um, Left outside linebacker. Okay? Now, at left outside linebacker, they got some heat. Okay? We, we're going to put the ball, uh, Boye Mafia, 92 overall, uh, fully upgraded. We're going to throw him in there. And then we're going to throw in there 97 overall, Frank Ragnar. Okay, I know when I when they dropped it, I said, hey, yo, hey, yo, 170 bands. I like the price. Let's take a look at it so you guys can't see what a boy at. You know what I mean? Like, I, I think this card is fire. Just for me, okay? Frank Ragnow in blue. You're going to see 6'5", 6'5", 308. That's why I like the joint, all right? Now, Boye Mafe in red, 6'4". When it comes to speed, Frank Ragnow 95, Mafe 97. Acceleration, Ragnow 97, Mafe 99. Strength, Ragnow 97, Mafe 91. Block shed, Ragnow 99, Mafe 91. When it comes to power move, Ragnow 99, Mafe 76. Like, hey, yo, that's super mid. Okay, finesse move, Ragnow 91, Mafe 99. Okay, now. Ragnar comes with flat zone KO for 1 AP, mid zone KO 0 AP, secure tackler 0 AP, baked in lurk artist, okay? That's why, exactly why I fuck with the ball. Not only that, but Ragnar has a 93 man, 93 zone. As you digging what I'm saying, man? Now, Mafe, I give it to the ball, 97 speed, I flux with it. Uh, defensive rally 0 AP, double or nothing 0 AP, edge threat 0 AP, lurker 0 AP, um, tackle supreme 0 AP. AP under uh, under pressure zero AP. What I don't like about it, it's he's more of a blitzer. If you blitzing, he gonna turn up. You know what I mean? He, with the double or nothing, edge threat. You know what I mean? Like he gonna, but man man coverage like man coverage and zone coverage is forty three man, fifty three zone. To me personally, I think six five Frank Ragnow with lurk artist baked in, secure tackler zero AP, ninety three man, ninety three zone. To me, that's a better option. Just saying. If you blitzing, obviously, obviously you you got other options with unstoppable forces. So like, do we really want that, John? Because you could put unstoppable force on Boye Mafe and really turn up because all the X factors turn up, right? Right. So really depends on what you're trying to do. Me personally, I like Ragnar just a little bit better. I, I like the coverage linebackers. Y'all already know what time it is. Now, let's go over to middle linebacker. Now they ended up dropping a bunch of middle linebackers. All right. Okay, so we're gonna start off with oh, 97. Yo, this joint is heat two Brodies. I ain't even gonna lie to you. This joint right here, fire. Where the blue at? 97 overall. Uh, Jordan Mayalta. Mylata, my bad, my hook. Hey, yo. Mylata, yo, chill, Brody. Yo, my bad. 170 bands for the ball. You really know what time it is with him, man. I ain't even gotta talk. I ain't gotta talk about it. Now we're gonna go over to the 92 so you guys can't see the guys we're gonna be talking about. One of them is going to be Blake Cashman. You already know. Texas stand-up. Y'all about to do business this year. I respect it. Uh, Blake Cashman, we're throwing in there. We got uh, Drew Tw Tranquil. And then we got Kenneth Murray Jr. All 13 bands. You're going to see what they look like. Fully upgraded. Let's get it shaking, you dig? Now, from left to right, we got the ball. Jordan Mayalta. 6'8". Oh, Mylata. I, I keep saying Mylata. For some reason, I think like it's Spanish, man. Anyways. Mylata. 6'8". Blake Ka uh, Cashman, 6'1". He is in red. Okay. Kenneth Murray in green. He is 6'2". And then you got Drew Tranquil in purple. He is 6'2". All right. Now, when it comes to speed, Mylata, 98. Cashman, 97. Murray, 98. Tranquil, 97. When it comes to acceleration, Mylata, 92. Cashman, 
and Murray, both 99. Tranquil, 97. When it comes to tackle, Mylotta, 87. Cashman, 99. Murray, 97. Tranquil, 99. When it comes to play rec, Mylotta, 91. Cashman, 96. Murray, 95. Tranquil, 97. Man coverage, Mylotta, 90. Cashman, mid-70. Murray, 88. And Tranquil, 90. When it comes to zone coverage, Mylotta, OP, 99. Blake Cashman with a mid-79. And then you got Murray and Tranquil, both 94. Now, this Mylotta card is wild, bro. It's 365 pounds, 6'8". Avalanche, 0 AP. Enforcer Supreme, 1 AP. Midzone KO, 0 AP. Baked in Lurk Artist. Do discount the ability bucket so you can't mix and match. You really know what time it is. And, yo, and like I said, all these zones come pre-lit. So you can put dual threat or unstoppable force on the jaw. I like this card. This card is fire. Fire jaw right here. Um, between the other jaws, like what I'm looking for, when I look for a middle linebacker, we're looking for speed. I'm looking for man coverage. I'm looking for zone coverage. You know, someone that stands out to me the most truthfully and ability-wise. I want someone that's going to have some kind of like secure tackler or... Uh, tackle Supreme or something like that if I need it, right? We want the possibilities to be there. If you want Tackle Supreme, Cashman and Tranquil both have that, okay? Do they have the, you know what I'm saying? Like, the, the stats that you need though, I think that Tranquil has better man and zone coverage stats at the end of the day. So if you really need a uh, middle linebacker, well, like Tackle Supreme, Lurk Artist, or uh, mid zone KO and Lurk Artist, Tranquil got it. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, he got it. You could get mid-zone KO and Lurk Artist on Kenneth Murray. You know what I'm saying? And then you got Cashman, who has no outsiders for zero AP. So, who's the better option? Because Cashman has no uh, inside stuff. Lurk Artist. Tackle Supreme. No outsiders. You know what I'm saying? Kenneth Murray. Inside stuff. You know what I mean? Like, those, those are the things. So, it really depends on what you're looking for. Obviously, you want height. To me, the best one here... Is gonna be Jordan Mylotta. After that, who I would probably go with, uh, just to be honest with you, with what I'm looking for and like the coverage stats, man, that's that, that's a little tough. I'm gonna have to go speed wise though. So Kenneth Murray at 6'2 with a 98 speed, 99 excel, 97 tackle, 95 play rank. 88 man is uh, 94 zone is all right. Well, we could beef that up with a strat card. You know what I mean? And you get Lurk Artist and Mid Zone KO for 0 AP. No Outsiders for 0 AP. Problem is, he's not going to have the Tackle Supreme. That's the only difference with Kenneth Murray. But I like that. Oh, no, he does get the Tackle Supreme. My fault. He does get Tackle Supreme. So, honestly, the two top for me is going to be Mylotta and Kenneth Murray. Just for the simple fact. Dope coverage stats. Um, mid Zone KO. All of that. You feel me? Like, that that's what I'm looking for at the end of the day. I want heat. I want fire. But if you're looking for someone with, like, dope, like, I like the spec cats, right? And the one who has the highest spec cats out of all three of these joints is going to be Tranquil. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, like, Tranquil, Tranquil lit. But I want some speed. I want 98 speed. You know what I mean? So 98 speed, crack cocaine to Madden. You really know what time it is. At the end of the day, Tranquil's dope. Kenneth's dope. Speed-wise, uh, Murray got it. Tranquil slightly edge him a little bit. Pause, you know what I mean? But I'm probably going to go... Yeah, I would definitely go with Kenneth Murray. Just saying, man. Just because of everything else. Now, let's go over to uh, right outside linebacker. And just so you guys know, um, yo, there's, there's a good amount of right outside linebackers, bro. There's, there's a good amount, yo. So, they ended up dropping the ball. LTD, 99 overall, Micah Parsons. Okay? Here he is right there. One milli for the ball. Baked in unstoppable four. Shout out to the Brody, man. He always get heat. It don't matter. It don't matter what it is. You know what I mean? We are going to throw in that 97 overall Bradley Chubb that you get for free through doing the challenges and the set tokens and all of that. So, we're going to throw him in there so you get a preview of what... EA is going to give you compared to everybody else. We're going to throw in the uh, Kayvon Thibodeau, Alex Anzalone, and we're going to be throwing in the Khalil Mack. 
Okay, so it's gonna be five of these joints. You feel me? Bet, let's do it. Um, from left to right. Okay, Micah Parsons in blue. He is 6'3. Bradley Chubb, who's free by doing the set tokens. In red, he is 6'4. Alex Anzalone in green. He is 6'3. Khalil Mack in purple. He is 6'3. Thibodeau in the baby blue. He is 6'4. When it comes to speed, Parsons, 98. Chubb, 96. Remember, these are all fully upgraded. Anzalone and Mack both 97. Thibodeau, 95. Acceleration. Parsons, 99. Chubb and Anzalone both 98. Khalil Mack, 95. Thibodeau, 99. When it comes to strength, Parsons, 97. Chubb, 96. Anzalone with a mid-87. Khalil Mack, 99. Thibodeau, 98. Blackshed, Parsons, 99. Chubb, 98. Anzalone, 91. Mack, 99. Thibodeau, 98. Hey, yo. Power move. Parsons, OP, 98. Chubb, 82. Anzalone, 77. Khalil Mack, 99. Thibodeau, 98. When it comes to uh, a finesse move, Parsons, 99. Chubb, 97. Anzalone, 69. Mack, 90 and then you got Thibodeau 86. Now, is this Michael Parsons worth one milli? Brody's baked in unstoppable force. That's all I gotta say, man. Avalanche 0 AP, Lurk Artist 0 AP, Mid Zone KO 0 AP, Tackle Supreme 1 AP, two discounted ability buckets so you can mix and match. This card is fire, Brody's. Truthfully, it's fire. The Bradley Chug that they give us for free, is it worth it? 96 speed, 98 excel, 96 strength, 98 block set, 82 power move, 97 finesse move. Double enough to for 0 AP, extra to let 0 AP. Lurk art is 0 AP, no outside is 1 AP. I wish the no outsiders was 0 AP too, bro. At the end of the day, I like to join 96 speed. They could have did with some 98. They dirty for this one. But shout out to it, it's a free card. We get a shake it. You know what I mean? I, I would put this like left to end or something if I really needed to. I don't know. But we like we like the unstoppable force, right? On the D line, let's be real. So, put Bradley Chubb on the edge. You know what I mean? With all these abilities, put unstoppable force on him, pre-lit, turn the fuck up. You already know what time it is, man. Anyways, Alex Anzalo, more of a coverage linebacker, 90 man, 93 zone. I like it. Truthfully, I like it. Um, 71 spec catch, not not bad. It's pretty solid. Um, but nothing like, hey, yo, I gotta go get this joint. You know what I mean? Same thing with Khalil Mack and Thibodeau. So the only thing that leaves that is going to be uh, block shedding stats. If we want these dudes to block shed, because obviously the only man coverage, uh, the only coverage linebacker is going to be Alex Anzalone. If you want someone that's going to like be better at man and zone, he's your guy. Now, if you want blitzers, then it's going to be Thibodeau and Mack. So who's the better one of them all? Well, we got to look at the block set. Look at Khalil Mack. 99 block set, 99 strength, 97 speed. Obviously, he's faster than Thibodeau because Thibodeau is only, he maxes out at 95. So Khalil Mack, you that guy if we blitz him. If we want zone cover, if we want a coverage linebacker, Alex Anzalone, you that guy. The free 99 Bradley Chubb, I flux with it. They could have did better, but I like free. Michael Parsons, you super OP, but you pricey as fuck. You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, I bet. So, let's go over the right end. Um, let's see. Uh, they ended up dropping... Who's the ball, man? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're here. We're here. Okay. All three. Cameron Haywood, Zach Allen... And Grady Jarrett. Good to see Grady Jarrett get back, man. I was hope I wanted to see backyard ballers, man. I don't know about y'all, man, but I wanted to see that this year, man. Hopefully they still bring it back. Anyways, Cameron Jordan in blue, 6'5. Zach Allen in red, he is 6'4. Grady Jarrett in green, he is six foot. When it comes to speed, Hayward, 94. Allen, 90. Grady Jarrett. Oh, weak ass 86. Why you do the man like that, bro? These Anyways, acceleration, Hayward, 93, Allen, 89, Garrett, 95, when it comes to strength, Hayward, 99, Allen, 95, Jarrett, 99, when it comes to block shed, Hayward, 98, Allen and Jarrett, both 99, power move, Hayward, 99, Allen, 95, Jarrett, 99, finesse move, Hayward, 90, Allen, 84, Jarrett 86. Which one is the best? They all have the same abilities, okay? 
They all come with double or nothing, zero AP, edge stretch, zero AP, Toro, zero AP, inside stuff, no outside, zero AP, secure tackle, zero AP. They, they got fire, okay? I'm not going to sit here and read you the whole spiel. You know what I mean? Double or nothing, inside stuff, tackles, all everything you want, okay, on the right end. But the fastest one is going to be 8. 6 5. You really know what time it is. To me, it's, this is going to be the best card. I mean, even statistically, 94 speed, 99 strength, 98 block shed, 99 power move, 90 finesse move. Yo, truthfully, man, I would take this jump. And if you really don't have one, like if you really want to drop the bread, you could put this dude as a DT with, with zero AP inside stuff. And then you put unstoppable force on them, X Factor. You could really turn the fuck up with this card. Um, do I like Zach Allen? Eh. Do I like Greedy Jarrett? Eh. You know what I'm saying? Like, to me, nah. Uh, it, would, it would have to be in this order. Hayward, number one. Uh, then, if we go going by height, Zach Allen is taller than Jarrett, but I think Jarrett got better stats. So, I would definitely go number one, Hayward. Number two, uh, Grady. And then, Zach Allen last. You know what I mean? Would I cop him? Not really. Yo, did my controller die? All right, so let's get let's get into the last position, and that's gonna be DT, man. All right, now DT, okay. This is gonna be a quick one, and then we're gonna we're gonna finish the video off with this one. At DT, they ended up dropping. Oh, they all 92. My fault, y'all. Um, y'all know I don't like this position. <laughs> yo, this is like the oh no. Anyways, yo, shout out to the Brody, man. Uh, Kalen Saunders, man. You already know. Saints Nation, stand the fuck up. We're gonna talk about the ball right here. We're gonna talk about um, Christian Wilkins and Javon Hargrave, man. Brave digger, you already know. Man. For those of you guys that know, you know. All right, we're gonna see who's who's the best one of them all. Okay, if you need a DT from left to right, we got Hargrave in blue. He is six two. Wilkins in red. He is six four. Saunders in green. He is six foot. Okay, now when it comes to speed, Hargrave ninety. Wilkins, 83. Saunders, 82. When it comes to acceleration, Hargrave, 94. Wilkins, 92. Saunders, 93. Tackle, uh, Hargrave, 99. Wilkins, 98. Saunders, 99. When it comes to block shot, Hargrave, 98. Wilkins and Saunders, both 99. Power move, Hargrave, 82. Wilkins, 86. Saunders, 96. When it comes to finesse move, Hargrave, 99. Wilkins, 73. Saunders, 90. Now, truthfully, like, we're looking at speed, right? right? We want speed, right? But we also want abilities. Now, at the end of the day, all of these dudes have double or nothing, inside stuffs, uh, secure tacklers, no outsiders for zero AP. Like, they, they all got heat, man. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's all fire. Pre-lit X-Factors. You guys can get unstoppable force on these Jones. The one that stands out to me the most, obviously, is going to be hard. He's probably the best one of them all. Anyways, if this video helped you out, hit the like, hit the subscribe, turn that naughty bell to fuck on your dig. Oh,